And in today's episode, we're talking about restoring purpose to men's lives. When men have purpose, they're always at their best. Let's get to it. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If we haven't met yet, my name is Andrew. For nearly 30 years, I've had the pleasure of training and mentoring people just like you. I'm passionate about helping men of all ages, especially middle-aged men, to live their best life. Thanks for being here. Hopefully you've been following along in this series. In our previous episode, we talked about this vital concept of breaking the isolation for men, getting connected instead of living disconnected. So, so important. And today in this episode, we're talking about another practical strategy to stop the slide of poor mental health and get you going back up in the right direction. Today's subject is all about restoring purpose. When I talk to men, uh, middle-aged men especially, in, in my own life, when I'm counseling people, when I'm mentoring leaders, when I'm just giving out advice to those who are asking me questions, one of the greatest needs that I see for our men all the time is the need to rediscover purpose in their life. So many of our men, very, very sadly, are walking around through their day and through their routine almost aimlessly. They get out of bed, they go to a job that they either hate or don't really enjoy. They don't get a sense of satisfaction from their job. They fight through traffic and commute hours and hours every week to get home. Sometimes there's tension and pressure on the home front. Then they're pressured by, can we afford to pay our bills? They go to sleep just to wake up and do it all over again. And it's like this groundhog day going on for tens, if not hundreds of millions of our men. One of the greatest circuit breakers that we can deploy for men is to help them restore purpose in their life. And in this episode today, I wanna to give you three areas where men can see a restoration of purpose. Now, what do I mean when I use the word purpose? When I say purpose, I'm talking about giving men a reason that matters enough to keep on going with their day, their week, their month, their year, year after year, year after year, feeling like what they do is valuable, what they do matters, what they do is achieving an important result. We see it all the time. When men lose purpose and then they begin to lose hope, they do destructive and dangerous things to themselves and to others. If we can help to lift the level on restoring purpose for our middle-aged men, we can see men come alive again on the inside. We can see them get back to a place where they once were and they can rediscover that energy that really does define who they are as men. So when we talk about restoring hope, we're talking about three things specifically. Let's get into those now. Firstly, we're talking about family priorities. Family priorities. In other words, re-establishing the power and the importance of family in the lives of our men. Now, I know this is a bit of a given for many of you, but for some of the guys who are watching, because of pressure, because of distraction, because of the questions in the heart of a middle-aged man, we sometimes allow the, the value and the priority of family to slip down the totem pole a little bit. Well, today's episode is a reminder to you that you've got the power to put it back up in its rightful place. If you're married, then your marriage matters so much. If you've got children, whether they're young, mid or older, it doesn't matter their age or stage of life. If you're a dad, you are so, so important in the world. And I wanna really massively boost that value. Our men are getting told so many mixed messages about what matters most in life. They're being told that career success matters the most and money matters the most and buying things and achievements and who can win this girl and that girl. We are getting so many mixed messages and sadly, one of the most important and most powerful messages that we need to hear is not being said enough and that is family priority. Your partner, your children, your household, your home. That is where the heartbeat of a man truly comes alive to realize I'm needed in this space and I'm making a difference for the future by being the best family man that I can possibly be. 
Secondly, we want to talk about restoring purpose in the arena of what we would call stoic values. What do I mean by stoic values? Well, you could replace that word stoic with the phrase old school or nostalgic. What I'm talking here is about character-based values. Men who realize that it's their purpose in life to live with an attitude that is happy to make sacrifice, happy to build, happy to help others get where they're going, happy to be a protector, happy to be a provider. These are the stoic values that when we embrace them and we understand this is core to who I am as a man, we actually can get empowered and energized and realize some momentum on the stuff that really matters. I wanna give you one more in this episode today, one more practical explanation for what I'm talking about when I say restoring purpose, and that is what I would call lifting a load. Let's get right down to the core and the heartbeat of masculinity. One of the reasons why there is so much onslaught and so much attack in today's world against masculinity is because there are certain people and certain pockets of our society who do have a premeditated agenda against masculinity. Why is that? It's because they understand sometimes even better than we do how vital the strength of men is to our world. If we don't have strong men, families fall apart. If we don't have strong men, communities fall apart. Many, many people for good reasons and for bad understand intimately that if we don't have masculine men, the world goes astray. I'm urging you, I'm pleading with you, if you're not doing it already, be the full masculine version of a man you are meant to be. Embrace the fact that you were created to lift a load. I'm talking literally and metaphorically. Men were designed by their creator to have weight on their shoulders, which is responsibility, weight on their shoulders, which is accountability, and to be happy up under that load and say, I've got this, I'm a man. This is what I was born to do, to shoulder a load on behalf of other people's benefit. The fact of the matter is, not a single country in the history of the world would have been protected without strong men. Not a single family in the history of the world would have done better and become everything they could be without strong men. Some of the greatest businesses, houses of education, community services, and all kinds of exploits in our world would not exist unless it were for masculine men. Am I saying that the women don't matter? Of course, that's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is, the pendulum has swung too far and there's an assault on masculine men, men who are strong on the inside, strong on the outside. I wanna be a voice in your corner urging you to be a strong man who can lift a load. Guys, that's what we're about on this channel and I know that your mental health will be strengthened and boosted, especially if you're a middle-aged man, by rediscovering and restoring true purpose in your life. Do you need money? Sure you do. We live in an expensive world. Do you want achievements and success? Of course you do. And those things in and of themselves are not wrong. However, we've got to get back to the true heartbeat of what our purpose as men is all about. And if I can urge you, if I can do my little part to push you down that pathway and say, let's go after real purpose, not only will the world around us be better for that, but we internally and in our headspace, we will be better as a result as we get engaged with true purpose as the men we're called to be. I hope you're enjoying this series so far. We're getting almost to the halfway point in all this stuff that we're talking about with mental health for middle-aged men. In the next episode, we're gonna be talking about something that is very nuanced. I'm really excited to share it with you. I'm not gonna say all about what it is right now. I'd love you to check out the next episode. It's another point in this series about how we lift the level of our mental health strength as middle-aged men. If you haven't subscribed already, why don't you do that? If you've never left a comment, I'd love you to drop a comment in there. Tell me what's helping you. Let me know how else I could help you. Ask a question, whatever it is that's helpful for you, and I will see you in the next episode.